Hey Jackals, today we'll take a look at a simple split text effect which you can also download in my 500 sub thank you pack. Now let's get digital. So the split text comes in quickly, then slowly, stops, pops out, then splits off again. So right click in the media pool and make a new fusion composition. You can keep it at 5 seconds, give it a name, put it onto the timeline and go into the fusion page. Now to make this effect, we obviously need the text node, so let's add it. Type something in. Let's select a font. I'll use impact. Let's see how it looks like. Maybe we can bump up the size to 0.2. Now let's make the animation. So maybe the animation starts at frame 6. We'll be animating the center position. So go to the layout and keyframe it. Then the text will go off screen at the start. Then it will quickly come in, so maybe in 6 frames. And it will come to this point, 0.4, something like that. So I'll use 0.4. Then the halfway mark would be 60 frames. Let's say frame 56 is when it comes into the center position. So this will be 0 0.5. So the animation looks like this. Then we'll do the second part of the animation. So I'll do the opposite keyframes at the end. So if 60 is the middle, then 64 will be this one. So this will be the center position. Then I need to go 12 frames back. So in this case, it will be 107. And this will be 0 0.4. Well, actually it has to go forward, so it's 0 0.6. And on the last keyframe, it will go out. Well, actually not the last, but 113. And we don't need the last one. So this is now the animation. Now in the middle, I'll animate the size. So let's keyframe the size here. This will be 1. And let's see how big do we want it. Not 2. Maybe 1.3. Maybe something like that. Okay. Now we can smooth out the animation in the spline. Let's go to size. Select all of the points. Press S. And do the same with displacement. But I won't select these two points, so like that, and let's see how that looks like. Not what I want, so let's go back. So this is how the animation looks like, and now we have to split the text. To do that, we'll use rectangle node, and we'll use it as a mask. So if we simply connect the rectangle to the text, and position it down, as you can see, we now have a split text. So the first thing that we need is we need to increase the width. So let's set the width to 1. And to make this center position, we'll use 0 0.25 if we use the height as 0 0.5. So if I display the rectangle on the left, as you can see, it takes up half the screen. So this is how the animation looks like, and we need the second half. And to achieve that, we'll use the same mask, and the same text node. We'll simply copy the text node, right click and paste as instance. So now we have an instance of the text, as you can see, and this one is not masked out, not yet. So we'll simply connect it, and as you can see now we have the same mask, but select the instance of the text, now go to settings, and if you click apply mask inverted, we'll get the top value. But this is not the same for the bottom node, as you can see. So in this node, the instance text, what we have to do, we'll simply first uncheck it. So now this also applies to text one, but now right click on it and select the instance. Now if we click on it, this one will be on the top and this one is on the bottom. So now we only need to combine the two. 
And to do that, we'll simply use a merge node. And we need to display it, the media out. So now it's the same as before. And the last step that we need to do is make one half of the screen, either the top one or the bottom one to go in the opposite direction. And to achieve that, we'll use a time speed node. So add a time speed node. By default, it has a positive value, which means it will go from start to the end. Simply change this value to minus one, and it goes from the end to the beginning. So the effect is now almost done. The only thing that you can do to make this look nicer is to select one of the nodes. And because they're instanced, you only need to do this once. So you can go to settings, add motion blur, and set the quality to 10. And we'll have a nice looking effect. Now I'll just go to the edit page and see how the effect looks like. Now this is what we made with few nodes and a couple of minutes. And if you want to use this effect in other video clips, we can go back and make a macro of this. So select all of the nodes. In case you want to have any adjustments, maybe in this case you want to adjust the rectangle. So let's go to the beginning, like here. And in the rectangle, what you can do is adjust the angle. But in this case, as you can see, we get some text cut off. So what you have to do is increase the width. So maybe two, but you also can't increase the angle all the way like this, because as you can see, the effect starts looking strange. So at most you would use a value of maybe five degrees, something like that, just to spice things up a little bit. So in that case, if you want to use the angle as an adjustment, then select the rectangle first, select all of the other nodes, then right click on the last node, go to macro, create one. Now in the rectangle, what you can adjust is the height and the width, if you want. In this case, I wouldn't want it, but you would want to adjust the angle, so I'll adjust that. And in the text, you only need to select one, because this is the instance, so any text that you change will be applied to the instance as well. So you want to be able to adjust the text, what it says, the font, font style, maybe the color, the size, and maybe the center position, which is under the layout. Then go to file, save as group, just so when you use the effect, you also have access to these nodes and you can make adjustments. Then go to fusion, templates, edit, and this is a title, so enter the title and give this a name. I already have one here, as you can see, split text, and it's basically the effect that I've shown you at the beginning. So once you save it, you'll have it in the effects. So open the effects, type the name of the effect. In my case, this is split text. So as you can see, it's this one. Now if I go into the fusion page of the effect, as you can see I only have one node and I can't do anything with it, but if I save as group and I go to the effect, I can then double click on it and you can see all of the nodes that I've used to make this effect, which is basically the same as I've shown you in this example. And that's basically it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve and video editing content and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out. I'm Simon and until next time Jackals, keep it digital.